And what's cracking, you guys? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Mango Grove. My name is Krisha, and this is today's second altcoin analysis of the day, which is VeChain. I did publish one on Veracity um, just earlier. I'm going to be trying pumping out altcoins, so if you guys have any requests, do let me know in the comments section below. Of course, popular vote wins. I suggest as soon as you see your um, the coin that you want already in the comment section, just go ahead and upvote that. Like, go ahead, go ahead and hit the thumbs up on there, and um, that way it's easy for me to gauge the votes. Now, V Chain, I know, is one of the top. Um, well, the top most requested coins, especially on the live streams, and I really hope you guys are catching the live streams because there's a lot, there's a lot of alpha, not just in terms of the trade setups that Sean presents to you guys, but even in terms of just um, trading psychology. It's about really knowing how to handle your trade setups on a psychological standpoint because a lot of us, you know, sometimes we're going to get emotional on certain trades that we miss, certain trades that, well, we missed to maybe either miss the position altogether or miss to take profits at a certain level. So you're going to get a lot of sort of uh, good wisdom from those live streams as well so definitely go ahead and check it out um we're gonna be trying pumping out way more of them now so v chain usdt guys let's get to the juice of this i like this chart i think that it has triggered a massive massive bullish formation yes it's done it's it has been activated already now the main question is um what is the next target to the upside on v chain okay because i'm looking for of course this bull run we're currently in the middle of a bull run and i'm looking for many of the altcoins to start running on the fumes of the bull run so um v chain being one of them I do believe that the chart is set up very, very well. So we're going to be talking about targets today and we're going to be talking about bid opportunities today. So with that, guys, let's jump right in. So right off the bat, there is a, um, a certain trade strategy that has already triggered on VeChain in inclus inclusive of the, um, well, of that bullish pattern that I spoke about, okay? And this is the trading st strategy. If you go ahead and turn on your Ichimoku cloud, okay? And you'll find that we're currently within, we've penetrated that Ichimoku cloud already, okay? So oftentimes when a coin does this, we often look for an edge to edge on the cloud, especially when it emerges out of its bear market phase. What is an edge? to edge essentially a trade strategy is basically catching a trade from one edge of the cloud and riding it all the way up to the other edge of the cloud and you can see that v chain has technically already activated that edge to edge with the top edge coming in right here at around that 10 cent region now that's the minimum okay because yeah prices could continue from there where we start trending above the cloud but this is a good trade strategy where you can actually um capture an amazing sort of swing to the upside like this swing alone could be a good 277 percent all right from where prices is at right now to that next target to the upside that's going to be a good 111 percent to the upside so still a 2x left on this edge to edge strategy all right but now question is how far how fast rather can we actually get up to the next edge right is this a time would i be jumping into v chain right here right now well for that i always fall back on over to my objective indicators to help me understand if this is a good time to be bidding a certain asset now what is our number one go-to objective indicator here at mango guys it's always going to be the mango dashboard use this to filter out the trades actually worth looking at we've managed to catch some phenomenal trades just using the dashboard the dashboard can give you a lot of information in terms of the trends worth looking at as well as is this the time to be jumping into a trade or is this the time to be actually waiting on a pullback opportunity right that's a lot of power guys especially if you f if you find that you are one that's susceptible to FOMO, you know, when prices pump and you're just like, I just need to FOMO into this coin and you find that you, get, you keep getting wrecked all the time on jumping into pumps, you know what? The dashboard will help you understand when is the time to be patient, okay? It's going to keep you objective. Use it to keep you objective. Now, let's go ahead and filter out VeChain from this list. You can find this on um, app.mangoresearch.co. When I filter out VeChain right here, that USDT. All right, so long trends across the board, and we have positive returns from the 12 hour time frame going all the way up to the weekly time frame. Okay, so we're seeing follow through by the bulls. But I'll say this right now, the lower time frames are telling us that, hey, there's a battle going on between the bulls and the bears, and the bears seem to be having the upper hand. All right, because the bulls, while this trend is long, it's telling, that, telling us that it's bullish. Okay, um, the reversal came in 24 hours. So the bulls have technically had 24 hours to show their hand, and they're losing the battle here. You can see that they're losing the battle so it's the fact that they've had 24 hours to show their hand they failed to do so and then in addition to that check out the volatility flashing 65 right 65 when you see these red digits on on any of the assets you that's that's showing us that volatility is expanded oftentimes when i see volatility expansion i usually look for that pullback opportunity to come to us as well so what i would personally be looking for here on vchain is a lower time frame pullback into higher time frame support now why am i saying higher time frame support because just check out the 12 hour 
volatility. Guys, 23 is very, very low, telling us volatility on the 12 hour has compressed. Okay, it's been compressed now for some time, and usually when I see a compression, I usually look for an expansion. An expansion towards which direction, up or down? Well, what's the trend telling us? It's bullish. So I'll be looking for that expansion, that next price movement to come to the upside, right? And that's what I'm saying, look for a lower time frame pullback, but into higher time frame support. So now think about just how much information we've gotten out of this one card. Okay, it's telling us to, hey, be patient on the lower time frames. You could get a better pullback. So now what I really like about B Chain is that, okay, the trend is telling us, the trend profile is telling us wait on that pullback. But more importantly, it's wait on a pullback while price is sitting next to a macro level. Okay, I'm just gonna turn off that cloud. I want you guys to notice this red zone that I've marked out on my chart. For those of you who want the levels on that, that comes in from around 0 0.045 going all the way down to 0 0.042. All right, I will be annotating the numbers on my screen, so go ahead and take note of it. So now why do I think that's a, that's a critical region? Because I believe that a battle was fought there in the past during the bear market phase between the bulls and the bears, wherein, okay, wherein the bears actually won the last time around. All right, so I was looking for this to be a level of contention even on the way to the upside. And you can see there are stutter stops right here. There is a battle taking place here. But what I really, really like about this picture, and this is where I think that the bulls have the edge. What I really like about this is that, well, we've been closing consecutive weekly candles over this red box territory, telling me that, hey, on the weekly time frame, the bulls have the edge. So the next potential bid opportunity that I think will be very, very easy to manage is going to be a dip back into that red zone territory and then look Look for the bounce on that. Okay, I think that's going to be the super easy bit to manage because guys, you get to manage your trade off of a macro level. There is nothing easier than that because if prices break the red zone territory, you know that you're wrong on your trade. You know that there's a better chance that VeChain comes down even lower. Basically, get out of your position and look for a lower, lower bid on VeChain's chart. And you get to find out what happens next exceptionally fast. You're not waiting in your trade for, well, weeks on end, right? You're not waiting on your trade for months on end to figure out how this plays out. No, you get to know when you're wrong very, very fast or when you're right very, very fast. So now question is, where would I look to bid this? Well, let's get on over to the daily time frame. Let's see what's happening there. All right, so now we're seeing a bit of a toppy like formation right here, right? Look at that little M like formation. You can probably see it a lot better on your lower time frames. But this right here being that minor neckline. Now, if I have to go ahead and take the measured move of this um, this formation plotted on the break, where will this take VeChain down to? 43 cents. Okay, 43 cents, but not just that. What I really, really like about this level right now, 43 cent region, is that if I have to go ahead and put on one of our cornerstone ind indicators here at Mango, which is the Mango Dynamic Indicator, um, check this out. There's confluence, okay? The measured move of the M-like formation will take us down to the daily dynamic support. All right, and the daily dynamic support works exceptionally well in guiding VeChain's trends. As you can see right here, when it started this trend right here in earnest, we broke out of a falling channel like formation broke out reclaimed the dynamic tempo went on dynamic is green telling us that hey the bulls are picking up momentum here official breakout of a bullish pattern off to the races every test was used as support okay we failed to get confirmation underneath the dynamic right here notice how we got one close the next one took it back swiftly once again put in a, a reversal formation once again off to the races it's only when we broke it right here in earnest that we know that okay we can look for a lower bid on v chain Right, but how much? Like we, you could have ca captured a good, what is this? A good 125% just trading the dynamic support. So once again, I think the next best bid opportunity would come to us at the dynamic support. And what I really, really like about this is that there's confluence with that macro level as well. So now think about that. That's the macro level plus daily dynamic support, plus the measured move of the M-like formation. So there's a lot going on there. Um, so now for those of you who want the levels on that dynamic cloud, it's like a range of sorts on the dynamic indicator, okay? I, and I believe that this is going to be the official next bid zone that I think will be very, very easy for you to manage a trade off of. All right, for those of you who want the levels on that dynamic support, it comes in from around 0 0.04497, going all the way down to 0 0.04302. I will be annotating the numbers on my screen. Now, for those of you who are actively trading V chain and you do not want to wait on me to give you the levels constantly give you the levels on the dynamic as it updates because it is dynamically moving with price action it's gauging momentum it's gauging volume it's dynamically moving if you don't want to wait on me for this you can sign up for the indicator on the mangoway.com dynamic 
Alrighty, but these are the current levels. I believe this is going to be the next bid zone on V chain. Now, if we start breaking dynamic support to the downside, we have been invalidated on that trade, at which point I'll be looking for these wicks to be taken out. Once that's taken out, I will be looking for a further continuation to the downside. Of course, I will be updating you guys once that happens. All right, and I'm going to implore you guys to look towards your mango dashboard premium video section right here because we're going to be posting any trade updates, any major trade updates uh, under the premium video section, as well as any major trade um, setups that we see under the premium video section as well. I posted one on FTM and that was based on a bullish signature that I presented to everyone about a year ago and it's been playing out to the T. It's been so beautiful. So I'm very, very excited about that trade so far. So yeah, with that, let's talk about the targets to the upside. Okay, um, now I mentioned that, hey, there is a macro sort of, um, well, it's, it's a macro pattern play that I spotted on VeChain's chart um, during the live stream. And that's this right here. I'm sure a lot of you guys are seeing it already, but let me just bring it up. And I believe that there is sufficient volume confirmation. Always look for confirmation on your patterns, guys, because with price action, honestly, you can find patterns everywhere. Okay, how do you, how do you decipher which one is a pattern versus which one is not a pattern? Right, so look for that volume confirmation. I believe that we have volume confirmation right here. Um, this is a cup and handle like formation. For those of you who do not spot it, let me just draw it out for you. This is the cup right here, and this right here is the handle, all right? And we have good volume to support that thesis. Now, um, as far as the measured move of this cup and handle-like formation is concerned, let's take it from here and then plot it on the break. Where, wow, where will this take V-Chain up to, guys? 10 cents. And what is 10 cents again? Well, let's go back to that Ichimoku cloud setup top of the cloud. All right, so there's confluence there as well. We have the measured move of that massive, massive reversal formation lining up with the top of the cloud. So that is the scoop on VeChain for you guys. Now, of course, I will be uh, pushing out more updates on this, but if you like this one, definitely, definitely hit the likes. Let me know in the comments section below. It encourages me to give you guys more juice on any of the coins that you guys are looking at. And also, come on out, join the Discord chat. Okay, if you're looking for a fun community to grow with, to, well, uh, talk TA with, get into the Discord chat while it remains open because we might close it out as soon as we get underway with the rest of the bull run. I'll see you now in the next analysis. With this, trade safely, trade stress-free, trade the mango way, trade the easy way and happy Sunday.